guys, what's up? Little update. Figured I'd share this with you guys. I just I just opened it and unboxed it there. Uh, took the packaging out. It's all down in here. But uh, I got I was given a bow. Uh, I was given a bow from my dad at Christmas, and I'm gonna be starting an archery club. Uh, actually, tomorrow. I'm not gonna say the date, depending upon when I upload this video. I'm probably already gone when you see this, but. I really, really like doing stuff with my kids, seeing as I have a million of them. So what I did is today, I went out and I bought the boys, Logan and Jacob. O'Reilly can shoot if she wants to, but I went and got them a little banshee. So they can participate. It's kind of cool, I shot it once. It's actually pretty strong. I mean, you could, you could seriously hurt somebody with this. Alex, my. why do you always have to talk so loud? She wants my hand. She wants me to go see something with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I got this for him. came with two arrows. There's a little little sight on there that we'll have to adjust. A little screw set. But, yeah, it was on special. They ordered too many of them. The guy, instead of putting 10 quantity, he ordered 100. So, now the store is stuck with a whole bunch of them. So, this whole thing with case cost me $29.99 plus tax which is a great deal and I'm kind of envious of their case because I don't even have something like this for my bow but oh well down the road I guess so I'm really stoked that they'll be able to come along and and learn how to shoot with me it's gonna be great uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, right now I'm gonna stop this and I'll go upstairs and show you guys my bow All right, guys upstairs my buddy stuck this on go Canadians go well, this is my bow, a Dominator 3D. It's got zero effect by Mozzie. This whole thing, uh, I kind of call it like the chicken claw. It lifts up, so when you let go of the bow, there's uh, no resistance or anything anywhere. I've got a, uh, it's not like a red dot, but it's like a green dot and it lights up. I don't know if you can pick up on that very well. Point it somewhere a little darker. But uh, yeah. Let me put the camera on a wide view here and come back. Aha! God, I love this phone. So this is what I have. This is, uh, it's actually got a 90 pound pullback, but uh, we, uh, we pulled it we backed some of these set screws out a bit there and brought the pounds down. I think right now it's sitting at 65. I, I brought it to the local uh, hunting and fishing shop and they uh, they checked it out. He had to remove the the uh, the string for me and all that to, to set down the screws and really count the, the perfect amount of numbers when you back them out because you're not supposed to back them out more than X amount because then you don't have any threads left. So we only backed them out five turns. I wouldn't go any more than that. Some people say no more than four. But uh, we looked how long the screws were, and they're, like, excessively long. I'm here trying to shut the light off, and I'm not turning the right thing. I'm, like, turning this, and it's over here. But, uh, yeah, I'm really stoked to go and, and shoot. This is my release. I wanted to get one that I wear around my wrist, but I couldn't find anything comfortable. I have huge hands and huge wrists. So I kind of went with like a gun grip. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. Tomorrow I'm going to shoot for the first time in my life. But it uh, should be pretty good. I got some really long aluminum arrows here. Some fucked up tips. But, uh, well not fucked up, like broken, just like different style. And then I got some carbons that my dad gave me with some fat tips there. The easier to take out when practicing. But I'm super, super excited to shoot this. I don't know how good this is going to go. These are really stiff and breaking off. And, but they were like $2 an arrow, so whatever, to start off. I'm going to be losing and breaking arrows, so... My dad gave it to me. What I did is I cleaned it all up because it was full of dust. He had it for a long time. This is maybe a 15-year-old bow. They're, you know, they're they're much smaller now. And 
and the end pieces are almost like a 90 degree angle but I did buy myself a balancer or a silencer or whatever you want to call it with a with a wrist grip and that's what I bought myself but I'm um, super stoked I love it I gotta get a case for it I don't really like this quill to hold my arrows I mean look how many I can put in there who the hell needs that many arrows to go hunting <laughs> I mean that's crazy well yeah super stoked I was gonna change out the cord but uh, local shop says it's still in good condition so we're gonna keep that for this season and next season I'm gonna switch it out alright guys a little update on bows I'll uh, get back to you when I know what the hell more is going on, but I've never shot them, so I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you soon. Hey, bud. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Andy here. All right, guys, I'm out.